Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Filecoin price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Filecoin chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also continued to obey the ADO 12 structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that has managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 which lies between the $6 mark and the $4 mark in a move that has now given us a low at around the $4.702 mark and having managed to get into the minimum retracement area I now believe that you have bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also sketch out my target areas to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check of the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after seeing our lower low at around the $2.467 mark we started this massive run up to the upper side of being the ADO 12 structures where you can see that I have this ADO 12 structure in yellow having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the $9.559 mark and after seeing the formation of this 5 wave structure to the upper side we completed an even larger ADO 12 count 1 to the upper side and having seen the formation of that first wave to the upper side whatever we expected now next was a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 which you have fully maximized and now sketching out target areas to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the Fib level 1.6 and that is at around the $16.066 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upper side to do here on the Filecoin chart and in the formation of that wave 3 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 having the wave 5 fully maximizing our minimum target areas and also giving us the high for that wave 3 to the upper side and this 5 wave structure to the upper side is what is going to give me the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the Filecoin chart and that is better seen here on the 1 hour chart so jumping to the 1 hour chart for further analysis here on the 1 hour chart you can see that after making our low in the formation of that wave 2 we started this massive run up to the upper side of being the ADO2 structures where you can see that I have this ADO2 structure in red having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the $7.6 mark and having seen the formation of a 5 wave structure to the upper side we completed the formation of this first wave to the upper side and after seeing the high for that wave 1 we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78 which is a target area that we have now fully maximized and I now believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of another massive run up to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $10.069 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upper side to do and in the formation of that wave 3 I'm also expecting to see another 5 wave structure in formation to also play out and for that move to also play out in the formation of that wave 3 there are key moves that we need to continue watching over here and the first one is that we need to continue holding above the 20 day MA so that it can continue offering us support for us to continue gearing up and the moment you continue gearing up then we need to watch the wave B high which lies at around the $7 market and the moment we manage to break above that high then we need to watch the next high at around the $7.5 mark which is the wave 1 high of these larger ADO 12 count 1 to the upper side and the moment we manage to break above those highs then that will be enough confirmation that we have managed to get back into that impulsive nature in the formation of that wave 3 where we can continue gearing 
filtering up and also fully maximize our target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and jumping to the 4 hour chart for further analysis and also take a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 56 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 also taking a look at the market we have been able to print a bearish cross where you can see that we are seeing a sharp decrease in the selling momentum meaning soon we are going to be able to print a bullish cross so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated